Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for January 2022. It is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on for this particular month. And then we will take a peek at what's going on with your energy and your person's energy. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you like one of those, the information's in the description box below or in my about section. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys for January. Okay, so in the current energy, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Two of Cups in reverse and then the Empress in reverse. Hmm. And then in the near future, we have the Devil in reverse, Temperance, and the Six of Wands in reverse. And then what you don't see coming is the Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Now, what Spirit wants you to focus on is the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. So there's some strong energy going on over here, what they want you to focus on. So your overall energy, this is great. The Nine of Cups, it can represent a lot of things. Yes, wish is coming true, absolutely. It's about fulfillment, self-fulfillment, um, fulfillment in your, your emotional experiences. So it could be within your relationships or it could just be within yourself. Asking yourself, okay, what am I gonna feel the most fulfilled by? Let's see what it's, okay. So the energy of not wanting to feel like you're stuck anymore. If you felt that way for quite some time, there may be some things in January that get stirred back up that help you realize that there are reasons why you stayed in that position for a period of time. Could it be that you questioned what was truly going to make you happy? Absolutely. I can see that there are certain relationships in the current energy that maybe were from the past that you had to overcome some difficulties within, maybe questioned, not blaming the other person because we're responsible for our own feelings. But it's saying that there were some things that may have been mirrored back to you. Areas of your life where you may have felt a little bit insecure or not feeling like you were good enough. Um, there could be friendships, things like that had popped up. We'll see. The Seven of Cups behind this is saying that there's going to be a lot of opportunities here for you. I don't think you're confused about what you want. I just think at times you're not a thousand percent sure. So a lot of things are going to pop up that are going to help you make those decisions like is this for me is that for me do I really want this do I really want that it's a lot so you could find yourself going in and out of hermit mode is what I want to say even though that's not here because it takes a lot to work on these types of energies that are popping up so something seems to feel kind of out of control maybe you just don't feel as confident about the relationships that you've had the friendships the Queen of Wands in reverse just says there's a lack of confidence there. And being that the Two of Cups is in reverse, this could be going back and looking at friendships and where maybe you thought that they were better than they actually were. The Empress in reverse is like um, almost an unawareness. Sometimes we're not conscious of what's happening within these situations. In this case, I'm going to say you probably thought that they were good, good friends, and now things are shifting. So something around your having certainty about the people that have been in your life and what experiences you had with them and why seems to be wanting to be brought to the surface. Now, in the near future, the devil in reverse with the temperance and the six of wands, if there's something that has been feeling like it's holding you back from getting where you want to be, I think Spirit's trying to say, yes, be patient. See how she's tossing that water back and forth right there. She's standing with one foot in and one foot out. It's saying, yeah, keep an eye on where your, your mind goes, where your emotions go. Are you emotionally attached to things that didn't work out? If so, can you, in the current energy, take a look at what created that for you? Is there something around not feeling like you can accomplish something? Or maybe you just felt like you were kind of out of control um, in your life and a lot of different relationships and things that popped up for you were mirroring that back to you. So right now it's saying, take some time 
go back and forth in your own emotions and ask yourself, well, why? Why were these things showing up for me? Why did I have to experience them? And how can I now move past them so that I can get to? It's never an ending destination. There's always one goal and then another until the day we go back where we came from. So try to be patient with yourself because if there are things that are being triggered around Um, situations that didn't feel successful it's just again I always talk about this bringing it up for you to recognize maybe what lesson you learned from it why it's there why it was there in your life and how you can get past this it's not a time this year to be sitting in old energies it's just not this is that breaking wide open and starting to get used to the new normal so that may be there for you maybe some of that old conditioning is finally being brought to the surface so that you can release it for good and you don't keep going back and forth between questioning yourself about every little move you make or every choice you've made in friendships, relationships, things like that. It's just time now to start focusing on what's coming in the future. So what you don't see coming is the Five of Pentacles, which is great because it is abandoning things that maybe were weaknesses or um I want to say around money situations, if there was any emotional attachment to something that didn't work out, it's hard to get past that sometimes because we don't understand why did this have to fail, but we always learn something really valuable from it. And it definitely feels like it was a work situation. Like you felt like no matter how much you put the effort in, that it just wasn't working out. Well, that's because spirit was trying to say to you, there's something that you need to leave behind in order to get to this place again where you feel driven, where you feel like you want to put the energy in. So if you feel like you need to take a break, I'm going to say in January, there may not be a ton of energy coming at you in the work area. It may be giving you some type of a timeout because there's some decisions that need to be made. Now, this means that there will be some clarity around that. You're not confused. I think you know the direction that you want to go but you will make this decision. So Spirit's saying, you don't see this yet, but you're actually going to make a choice about what the next step is for you. It's gonna be a little different for all of you, but whatever you need to leave behind, whatever these um, senses of either not feeling good enough or I can't make that happen, that all needs to be washed away. And then you can put forth the energy that you need um, and desire to into what's going to push you forward now uh what spirits hold on what was i doing this is what you don't see coming and then what spirit wants you to focus on so the six of pentacles the high priestess and the ten of swords so in areas of your life where you had continually given and given and given and given and maybe at the time weren't realizing this is very much about you recognizing the patterns that you had in your relationships over the last however long in your life if you've really just started to wake up and recognize that this was something that was happening this is you being done with it so spirits like hey you're done no more of this you don't have to keep experiencing this same cycle now that you've realized with the high priestess in reverse that you weren't focused on the things that were trying to be shown to you because you were giving too much now you're like okay i get it i i see where i gave way too much of myself and now I'm done with that and I want to move forward. I won't ignore the signs. And that's what spirit wants you to do is not ignore those little twinges that you get or feelings like this just doesn't feel right. It's something's not balanced there. And that's a hard place to be when you feel like, okay, I'm giving and that's a good thing about me, but why does it not feel good? It's because obviously there were people that were taking advantage of that. So if you were being taken advantage of at work, I can see where you're not going you're going to want to pull back your energy and maybe not put as much effort into it. And I think that's what's coming. You're abandoning things that you um feel like you put too much into and probably taking the time for yourself and then putting the energy into the things that matter to you instead of what you do for everybody else. All right. Let's get some clarifiers. So the Queen of Wands with the 2 of Cups in reverse. So we have the two of wands in reverse because that really wasn't going anywhere. When there's not a future in something, it obviously has to leave your life. 
and this is just not going to benefit you anymore. Being in this place, relationships that continually bring up that kind of feeling inside of you are, are not going to go anywhere. They just don't stay. They're not there forever. As long as you're working on you and you're focused on a future for yourself and not what everybody else wants, either for you or um, the expectations that they have laid on you where you felt guilt tripped into doing things, then there you'll see how there's no more future in that. There just can't be anymore. All right, so let's look at the Two of Cups and the Empress in reverse. So the Four of Pentacles, this is a great energy. That means you're recognizing that you need to um, pull back and hold on to things that are sacred to you. Now, yes, at times you could have held on tightly to relationships that were not doing you justice, but that just comes from the nature, your fairness. Here it's saying, hold tight to what is yours. Hold something close to your chest. If this is, let's say it's about your money and you need to do with it what you need to do with it. You have a decision to make and you don't want other people getting involved. This is saying, hold tight to that. Hold on to what matters to you and don't focus on the things that had created some uncertainty about the choices that you've made in the past. This is about your future individually, not about what you have to do within your relationships. I wanna say that in a way that's like not saying that partners can't work together. Let's say you're in a relationship now and something is shifting within. It's okay for two people to have separate things, separate finances. Some people wanna come together and share that, but I think we're getting to a place now in society where each person wants to be independent of the other. So this could be you saying, no, I really wanna save for me I want, not because I don't love my partner, that I don't want to be, um, you know, balanced within the relationship, but it's saying, I really want something that's just mine. Okay, so let's look at the devil in reverse with the temperance. So we have the knight of swords. Hmm. That's an energy of a lack of clarity there. So the going back and forth energy, if you're expecting somebody to come in I don't think this is that. It's saying that there's there's something that you need to work on. So hang on, let me get the message clear. It's not going to come in the snap of a finger is what I feel like they're trying to say. When you are in the midst of overcoming this, it's going to take some time. It's not going to just be all in one fell swoop. Yes, it's frustrating at times, but they're asking you to be a little bit patient why you get the clarity around this. Okay. Temperance with the six of wands. What didn't go right for you? The ace of wands. Maybe there were opportunities that you feel like you missed out on. And regret is the worst thing we can have because what's done is done. You can't change the past. So getting fired back up again is going to be necessary in order for you to continue to go after the things that you really want to create. If there are I keep wanting to go back to what has failed for you that has frustrated you or kept you stuck. You're not going to be staying in that energy for long. The Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles and then the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I think at times you just had difficulty telling people, hey, listen, I don't, this is not for me. Like I'm doing the best that I can, but this is something that you're not passionate about. And that's why you're going to be abandoning those ideas. Because if it doesn't work for you or you're tired of putting in the effort, and it's not bringing you any kind of joy, you want to go after what you want to go after, that's why that energy is showing up for you to abandon that. Spirit's like, you're going to do it. You're just not going to put the effort in anymore. Could be with a relationship. And then we have the strength card. Sure, it's going to take a lot of strength to get through that. If you've been one way your whole entire life, it's not easy to make these kind of changes, but it will happen for you. And when you do that, that's when everything changes. You abandon the idea that you have to live by somebody else's rules. You have to do things the way other people thought you should. If there have been um, situations that were not successful, it's because you were trying to live by somebody else's standards. And that just doesn't work for you. Know who you are as a person. You're very balanced um, and you like fairness in relationships in general. And if other people don't see things that way, it can be really difficult for you. So attracting the right types of energies into your life now is going to be what I feel like you're going to be doing because you're leaving something really powerful behind that had a lot of effect on you as a person. So 
It feels like it's just done. All right, let's see what spirit wants you to focus on with the six of pentacles and the high priestess in reverse, three of wands. What do you want to see come in for you? This is knowing, having the confidence that something's coming towards you. If you've been dreaming about it, you've been setting your attention, um, setting your intention, sorry. This is saying, yes, it's coming towards you. So keep doing what you're doing. If you've had to pull back from other situations in order to focus on something that's about you, keep doing it because it's really happening for you. And then we have the High Priestess in reverse with the Ten of Swords. Now the Four of Wands could say that there's a difference in the way that you feel about long-term relationships or marriage, or there could be a, a lot of changes. This right here says, if it's done, be done with it. Don't, if you've had failed marriages, things that have gone awry, don't focus on those things. They're, it's not important in your life now. You're coming to another place, another stage, and what's done is done. It's just done. So maybe you've changed your mind about the things that you want maybe at the time you didn't pay attention to the signs that were showing you that things weren't quite right and it, it's okay we all have things that we go back and look at and say hey i wish things were a little bit different but in this case they're saying mm -mm, focus on what's coming towards you and release anything from the past that just doesn't matter anything that may have created any kind of feeling of I'm not good enough or I haven't done enough or I've failed in areas of my life. It just, I just keep wanting to say, let it go. All right, I'm gonna clear this really quick and then we'll get into the energy of the person that is on your mind. So the big focus is taking back control of your life. The Empress in reverse just says, right now you may not feel like you have everything looking the way that you want. Um, working on this is gonna continue to help further that for you. So focus on what's really going to make you feel that way again. I feel like I've beat that to death. <laughs> so you guys get it. All right. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. Okay. So your person's energy is the Queen of Cups with the Fool in Reverse, the Five of Swords, and the world in reverse. Okay, this person is learning how to love themselves and it's quite an internal battle. They're having some stuff go on right now. It's like, this isn't, yeah, it's very much internal. The fool is saying that they don't wanna to take too many chances in life. There's somebody who lives, I think, in quite a bit of fear. The world in reverse just says that they're in a place of shifting and changing and they haven't quite completed this particular cycle. So their back is, essentially towards you because your energy is going to be on the other side and if they seem to be sort of combative or difficult or don't want to take chances any of that type of thing I think this is something personally going on within them they're changing that can be really difficult when you love someone because you want to be there to be supportive but at times it's hard they have to learn how to love themselves and if they can't do that on their own they certainly can't be a loving partner you got to love you first your energy is the three of wands in reverse. Maybe you're tired of waiting to see if this person's going to get themselves together. I, I don't see you holding on too, too tightly. With the king of swords, you may be just keeping to yourself and not wanting to, to speak up to them because you realize that, hey, you've got to work on this. The three of cups says to me in your energy, I'll hold these up in just a sec with the four of cups, that there's something that you want to focus on primarily you like we talked about in the main reading so the eight of swords means that there's definitely some stuck energy here again i know we've talked about it so i don't want to repeat it too much but they are focused on dealing with some some things about loving themselves and this is going to take some time for them i don't feel like this is going to happen overnight it just is not an easy shift and this person's struggling through it so it's it's definitely a personal battle. Okay, your energy, the Three of Wands in reverse with the King of Swords in reverse, Three of Cups, and then the Four of Cups. For you, I, I, I feel like you're not really interested in anything else necessarily. I think you just kind of want to focus on you and not sit around and wait to see if other people are going to catch up. The King of Swords means that you don't necessarily want to speak on the situation. I think you'd rather just spend time with people that bring you joy, that you find some happiness and 
relief with. It could be family, it could be friends. But other than that, I just don't think you're up for much else if you're currently dealing with this person and in the relationship. Like, it's not like you want something outside of it necessarily. I just don't know how much longer you'd be willing to wait to see if they're going to figure themselves out. All right, we'll get a little bit of advice in just a moment. Let's see what happens with the romance. Angels, well, it flips the cards everywhere. Those don't really matter. Okay, this is for Libra. So we have them upside down. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you do. Everybody does. And I think that's for your partner as well. And sometimes I don't think they feel that way. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I feel like this is you wanting to focus on your own work situation. So maybe, yeah, it could be that there's a little bit of trouble financially. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Remember I said your person's going through something, internal battles. It could be this. It could be that they have addiction issues or codependency, and that comes from a lack of self-love. And then we have honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, you may want to find a way to get that back together, meaning you wanna spend some time doing something that brings you um, like a remembrance, like say, hey, let's, let's go do something that makes us feel connected again. And then we have release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So one or both of you could have somebody from the past that's energy, that their energy, how do I want to word this? Their energy lingers within the relationship. It could be your person also that holds on too tightly to all the things that have happened in their past relationship and that's difficult for them to get past and that's where they don't show up in the relationship. So there's a lot of mixed messages here, but it's a lot of energy. Let's get some advice and see what we have. So what's the advice for Libra with their person? It says the Hierophant. Well, that's focusing on having faith. That's the first thing that comes to me. It isn't necessarily about the commitment this time. I feel like it's more about having faith that things can turn around. Let's see. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, being patient while things change. Yeah, there's there's love here. I don't sense that there isn't love. I don't feel like a toxic relationship. I just think you're both going through some changes. And releasing anything that has brought the sadness. If you can look at it as, what did we learn from these times that were difficult, some emotional things, like take the sadness out of it. Focus on the love if you're capable of doing so. Right now, I just don't think it's gonna be as grounded, but have faith because that new opportunity for things to balance back out is coming. All right, let's get the lover's oracle. This is for Libra. What messages do we have? Yeah, when I said the energy was all over the place, the cards keep wanting to flip around. So this is the one that wanted to come out. Embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. You may feel that way. So it's worth putting the effort in Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. That's great. And then wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So if you've been with this person, and I feel like I'm talking to people who have been connected to this person for a long time, if you're willing to sit back and wait while this person makes whatever changes they need to, I think you'll be glad that you did. You can't rush that kind of healing, nor can we heal someone for them. They have to do the work themselves. But I feel like that's what it's saying. It's worth being in it because everybody goes through changes. All right. I'm going to get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Libra. So we have a change in the wind. Yeah, there's those big changes that are happening. And then clean it up. Let that person... That's so weird. I This happens to me all the time where a lot of repeated cards will come out in different readings for different signs but there was something in Gemini's I think that came out this way the three and three it may have been another one if I didn't mention signs by the way they're all pretty much here I wouldn't say that there was anything missing I don't feel really strongly there's one specific sign so I don't want to point one out maybe Sagittarius is the strongest but you have Cancer Pisces Scorpio you have Libra Gemini Aquarius all of it's here. Okay, so they're saying basically there is a change. Really the necessary movement is 
clean it up, meaning clean up your own stuff is what I want to say there. And then we have observer. Try to observe this from a different perspective. This reduces to a 13. You could have a birthday that falls on the 13th, 21st, 12th, and then we have to be fair. So there's balance. And I think you know that because you are truly the most fair and balanced sign in the zodiac. You know that at times things are going to ebb and flow. One of you is going to be up, one's going to be down. The best thing you can do is work on you in the meantime. Being poised is balance between mind, body, and soul. And that's going to help you as this goes through this generation regeneration. This reduces to a 10. So 10 could be significant for you as well. But that's about new beginnings. So I do feel like this is coming together. It's just you're going through one of those ebbs and flows. Okay, loves, I hope this helped. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you again for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like the personal, as I said before, it's in the description box below or in my about section. Have an amazing month and I'll see you in the next one.